What's up guys? Welcome back, man. What you seeing here? Some more Madden 17 CFM action, guys. This is the Sim Standard Radio League. This is week two, season three. And before we get started, guys, I definitely wanted to give a reminder to the rest of the guys in our league. We can't have these jerseys, man. We can't have dark on dark. If you are the away team, you need to wear to wear away colors. Because it just gets a little crazy, man. You know, luckily enough, the red and the black and yellow didn't really clash too much. But again, you can't have two teams in dark uniforms. So definitely got to remind my guys about that. But anyway, guys, like I said, man, this is week two, season three. And all of the games that I play at home, you'll probably see in this format. Because, you know, we have a rule in place where we have the uh, away team doing the stream. So those will be my stream games most of the time. And like I said... You know, these home games will be ones that I chop up like this and bring it to you this way. Now, I wanted to show you the remainder of this play. Look at this, man. How was that fourth and inches? How did he not get to the first down marker? You know, the Madden definitely has to improve on, you know, where the ball is spotted, you know, when it comes to first downs and goal line and things like that. Definitely needs some improvements in that area. But anyway, man, let's go ahead and look at the action. You know, he comes out here second and six, able to find his man across the middle. We hold him to just one yard, third and five. From the 23, and there it is, guys. He finds the tight end wide open, and he's going to continue to drive. So he's on the 48-yard line right now, driving. Picks up five on the first run. Nice play action fake here. Almost came up with the fumble there, but it's an incompletion, so it's third and five. We try to cover the middle, but there's the tight end sneaking out the backfield. Picks up a huge first down right there. All right, comes out on the run, picks up two. Tries to run the ball again. Shut that down. That was 38. They got to spread out, guys. And once again, the middle is wide open, guys. We're having a lot of time, a lot of tough times trying to defend the middle of the field. Here it is once again, guys, right across the middle. And just like that, it's second and goal. Uh, first and goal, I'm sorry. And very easily he gets into the end zone. All right, so we're going to come out and run the ball with Le'Veon Bell. Nice big strong run on first down. Exactly what we need right there. You know, coach is looking on. He's pretty excited, pretty happy about what he's seeing there. So we're going to try to run the ball again with that backup running back there. Nothing happens. Second and 10. I probably should have went to the flat right there, guys, if you would have saw that. But I tried to go to A.B. He was unable to make the combat catch. But have no fear, guys. On third and 10, we hit Ladarius Green. And we're going to keep the drive moving as well. From the 32, guys, run a quick play action here. And we're going to find Martavis Bryant leaking out. Another quick first down. So we hand the ball off here to Le'Veon Bell. That gets shut down. Second and 10 from the 22. Again, the flats was wide open, but I tried to go for the bigger shot. Martavis Bryant unable to catch it. And here we are. We're finding Antonio Brown across the middle, getting us to the 10-yard line. First and goal, guys. So we're in good position here. We're going to try to run the ball here with Le'Veon Bell. Pretty good yardage, but look, David DeCastro comes up with the hole, so... Puts us in a tough situation, but on first and goal from the 20, we kick out the screen. Great block by David DeCastro right there. Nice nifty moves by Le'Veon Bell, but it's good to see DeCastro rebound off of that hole, making two key blocks, getting us in the end zone. So now it's 7-7. Seven seven. All right, so here we go again, guys. Now we're so worried about the middle of the field. We keep leaving those flats open, man. So, you know, my opponent is definitely calling a good game here, keeping me off balance. You know, as far as my defensive calls. And I turned that guy loose right there, thinking he would run into coverage, which he did. So that was a good play. Second and 10. Again, we're late in the flats. And he's picking up first downs, guys. Right there, guys. That should have been a huge interception, man. My rookie is unable to come up with the interception right there. But that was great defense. Oh, my God. Look at this. Just missed with Ryan Shazier. So we're getting uh, more of a feel of what they're trying to do on offense. You know, our defense is improving a little bit. He's still beating us with the throw, which is what it is. You know, get an overthrow right there. Helps us out. Gets him in a third and 13. And he has a bad drop by his receiver right there. Put him in a long field goal situation. And he goes for it, but unable to come up with it, guys. Just short. And it's going to stay 7-7. Seven seven. So we're going to start first and 10 from our own 46. I try to go deep to Marcus Wheaton. Probably a bad decision right there, guys. But, hey, it is what it is. But, hey, I'm going to come right back to you, buddy. And he makes up for us. So first and 10 from the 32. We're going to run Le'Veon Bell. And he fumbles the ball. 
But Big Ben is able to fall on it, guys. So second and eight, we take another deep shot to Martavis Bryant, and nobody is making comeback catches, guys. What is going on? I don't understand what's happening here, man. So we're getting a little discouraged. We're getting a fourth and one situation. You know, we're going to do the sim approach. You sim style football. We take the three, and we go up 10 to seven. And I always have to say that, guys, because, you know, that's how we play in this league, man. We try to, you know, do realistic tactics. All right, so we're going to get the ball here on the 40, man, after the kick is kicked out of bounds. Helps us out pretty good. We're already here in the third and five. And I try to go deep again. And finally, finally, we get a catch downfield by Martavis Bryant. Even though I didn't like the shift in that animation, guys, you guys saw that. Definitely got to clean that stuff up, man. I've talked to the devs, and hopefully we can get some better results with those type of in interactions. Bad thing right here, guys. Ladarius Green gets hurt, almost gets into the end zone, so we appreciate that. And then we're able to hand it off to the fullback, get into the end zone, 17-7. to Huge sack right there by Ryan Shades here. We get him in a second and 19. And look at this, man. Receiver making big plays. He gets him back in a third and manageable third and eight. And just like that, guys, I lose contain of the coverage. And he's able to get the first down, and he's back on a roll. Killing us across the middle like always. Try to get the pressure right there, guys. And just nearly missed him. He's able to find his tight end with the drag route. Once again, drag routes are killing us, guys. And just like that, he's flipped the field. He's already on my 24-yard line. Great play right here. Probably should have stayed outside right there, man. I'm sure he would have scored on that play. But this was a, you know, a great series for him. It's already second and five, and he's on our eight-yard line. I send some heat, and we're able to get it. So it's third and 11. Just trying to contain this guy. He still sneaks behind us, man. The tight end is killing us. But look at this. <laughs> that kick meter, guys, is coming up huge, man. And I think my opponent said he had some lag on his side, so I definitely feel bad for him there. And here we go, guys. We take a deep shot right out the gate. Antonio Brown is making a combat catch. So as just, soon as I start saying that they weren't doing it, they make some big plays for me, both him and Martavis Bryant. So we're driving, guys. Third and five. Defense held us in check, so we had to punt the ball away. And just like that, we give it back to the opponent. Now here's second and ten right here. Look at the missed tackle, guys. Oh, my God. That was huge. Remember that missed tackle right there, guys. It's first and ten. That was a third down situation. And look at this. Now he's driving like normal. If we could have got him down in a third down situation there, it may have been special for us, man. But unfortunately, we're unable to come up with it. Missed the tackle. And then look at this. You would expect it to be offensive holding, but no. Ross Cockrell is holding. So that big gain is going to stand. And he's driving, guys, on the 11-yard line, second and seven. And look at his running back just running through my guys, man. Third and two. And now I'm worried because, yes, this. I knew this was going to happen. I knew he was going to get into the end zone. So now we're fighting again, guys. It's 20 to 20. And look at what happens here, guys. And that was a bad throw by me. Didn't get enough air under it, guys. You have to remember to use the high point passing, guys. You know, don't just throw a bullet. Don't just loft it out there. You have to use the mechanics, guys. They will avoid some of these, you know, some of those uh, interceptions that you would potentially throw when guys are in your path. But we come up with some solid defense here, guys. We got him in a third and goal. And my man is able to make the tackle right here, get some help. And we're going to get him in a punt. Um, I'm sorry, not punt. A field goal situation here, guys. So he goes up 23 to 20. I try to run the screen play here again. Le'Veon Bell is able to muscle his way to the first down. So I'm thinking touchdown. I don't want to get no field goals, guys, because I haven't really been able to stop him the way I've wanted to. So I don't want to give him the ball back. So with a little bit under a minute left to go, I'm trying to go deep again. Dangerous pass right there to Antonio Brown. That could have gotten picked. So third and 11. And look at this. I go deep downfield, and Sammy Coates is able to draw the pass interference guys now i want to show you this again because look at this shift right there pass interference only happens when an animation triggers we have to improve that i definitely got to get better results from that man i've talked to the devs about that we need it to be more contact based and not animation based 
Because you know that anytime you have animations and things triggering, you know, that increases the, the dice roll effect, you know. So definitely want to see some improvement in that area. But look at this, guys. Unable to come up with the fade route right there. So we're forced to kick a field goal. He tried to ice my kicker. Well, my kicker has ice in his blood, in his blood, guys, in his veins. He doesn't feel anything. And he's able to go ahead and make the kick. Now look at Bell coming out in overtime, guys. Rumbling, bumbling. Getting it started for us. We're going to go play action pass. I had my man wide open. Antonio Brown was wide open over there, but I couldn't get it to him. And again, guys, here I am again making bad decisions. That could have been costly right there. Third and ten. And we're going to find Antonio Brown across the middle. How in the world did he get in front of the defender there? That was almost dangerous. We run the screen play again because it's been working for us. Great blocking right there, getting us in a first down situation from the 16. And I'm showing you this play, and here's the reason why. As you can see there, guys, did you see when the safety rotated over? As soon as the safety rotated and the defensive coverage rotated, I knew exactly where to go, and I knew that was going to be it. Marcus Whedon was my read the entire time. So sometimes, guys, you just got to pay attention to what the defense is giving you. Read the defense, make the right calls. And sometimes you can be very successful in that regard. So, all right, man. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. This was a hard-fought game. Very tight game. Very competitive game. I love these games, whether I win or lose. But this one, I came away with the victory. So, all right, guys, man. Definitely leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. And I promise it'll never hurt you. Hit that like button. Peace.